Nestled behind the Bolverde Community Center is the Bolverde Bowling Club. Scott and Jennifer met us at the door and gave us the tour. Josh, Bill, and I were given free reign to take a look around. These Astro, these are Astro Lane telescopes. Old wood bleachers and chairs await the bowlers and viewers while the bowlers bowl nine pin. And Centennial ball racks still equipped with rosin powder for the bowlers hands. Also notice the ball return is double decker. Notice the rare historic Brunswick Centennial masking units. You can rent the club out only $400 for three hours, including the pin boys to set pins for you. They have two leagues each week. One the bowls on Tuesday and Thursday evenings and the other on Wednesdays. Among the newer bowling balls were several old swirly bowling ball relics from the 1960s. Scott says they have about 120 members at the Bolverde Bowling Club. Six wood lanes in excellent condition. I decided to head to the back and see what it looks like from the pin setter's point of view. In the old days, the term was pin boys. In this community, they just refer to them as pin setters. It was amazing to see these old masking units in as good a shape as they were, though I noticed some wood paneling had been added to the top. Here's the view the pin setters get as you're bowling. Not much here in the back except some wood platforms to prop your feet up on while you're trying not to get hit by flying bowling pins. The lanes are wood, but the pin decks are synthetic. This building was built in 1956. The original bowling alley was in downtown Bolverde, but only had two lanes. They expanded to six when they moved to this building. Here you can see the diamond shaped pattern the pins are set in when you bowl nine pin. We decided to take Scott and Jennifer up on their offer to let us throw a few balls and try out nine pin for the first time. Scott was nice enough to come back and set our first rack and get us started. So you bowl 10 pin and nine pin? I used to bowl 10 pin. Uh, we were I talking about that on the way here is like, are there people that are like adamantly hate 10 pin? Or no, like 10 pin? I, I, I grew up bowling both, and then um, I just decided that I'm just going to do 9 pin. And... You like 9 better? Oh, yeah. Really? Josh's first shot was pretty good. It's not bad. It hooked just enough. Nope. <laughs> but then realized it wasn't as easy as it looked. It's gonna hook. I think you're the pin boy right now. I'm the videographer. Ball return. Ball return. Then it was my turn. Okay. Hey, this is pretty comfy. How hard could this be? Almost. Left one though. Looks like Josh is getting the hang of this. I figured it was my turn to try this nine pin thing out. I left a pretty difficult split. Right. This is it. What I should have ah. done is gone for one and then one <laughs> on the next ball. Bill decided to get in a few shots in case he got lucky and was needed at our tournament later. I love the old style ball return hoop. Ooh, 
Swing and a miss. Close, but not yet. We got it. Yeah. There we go. Four to five shots later, we have success. Josh took his spot playing pin setter. Looks like he's done this a few times before, right? Notice how easy it is to go through the middle and nine pin and only get two pins down. Ooh. All right. Man, these lanes just look awesome. For as old as these lanes are, they look they're in such good shape. Yeah, they're really in good shape. <clears throat> Man, that's a relic. We finished bowling and decided to take a look around. There's a lot of historic things to look at in this building. I love t-shirts, so. We bought a couple of t-shirts, then headed on our way. We had a nine pin Ooh. tournament to go bowl. I like that one too. Thanks again, Scott and Jennifer, for meeting us and giving us the great tour. See you again soon.